Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. In this video session, we are going to learn about another way to make simple Ajax request to server in WordPress plugin. In last video session, we had seen that how can we make Ajax request but we had done by another method. So in this video session, we are going to register a different technique to make a JAX request in WordPress plugin. And uh, as you know guys, this is our part 18th of this video session series. So if you are a beginner from this video session, then I strongly recommend you to watch my previous video session before make continuation with us. Because in last video session, we had discussed so many things which makes much more clear comes up concept about this video series if you gonna watch from our YouTube channel. So just you go to YouTube, type online web tutor and you got the channel as you can see here and also here I have uploaded so many videos if you wanna on the online web tutor click on video section then you can see there are so many videos on WordPress theme development, WordPress custom plugin development as well as visit development so every type of customization if you want to learn from online web tutor then it provides you a free resource to learn WordPress customization so in this video session let's get started in our last video session guys I remind you what actually we did to make a Ajax request we did that we have made our custom JavaScript code here we made a request from a JavaScript code here is the library uh, in the parameter action and as you can see in parameter get message so after getting this library as a parameter we just accept this parameter to our main file as you can see and by getting as an action parameter means from this circuit, this java script and after getting custom plugin library file just make copy of that control f and find then you can see after getting this value we just included this file and this file is basically stored under library folder so just go, la go to library folder click on this file edit with notepad plus plus then you can see after getting get passage get message parameter of its second parameter so after getting this parameter we have just printed this message of like name on and web tutor author Sanjay Kumar so this is the simple Java Ajax JavaScript request that we made so far so in this video session we are going to achieve the same task but the way of doing this task is too different okay to achieve this task we are going to use something like add action okay under this add action we are going to add make our custom add action filter like wp ajax and here is our action name action name and the second parameter as you know guys second parameter should be the function name means by which function we are going to bind this action and as you know this is action hook WP Ajax is defined keyword and this is the action name that we are going to pass to this action hook after making this action hook in a custom way just we need to bind this function with this action hook. okay so if you go to the documentation section of WP underscore Ajax then just go to wordpress.org just need to find about WP Ajax then you can find a good documentation here this hook allows you to create custom handlers for your own Ajax request. The WP Ajax hook for follows the format WP Ajax underscore your action name. Here we have to pass our action name where your action is Ajax request action property. And this is the guys according to the usage the WordPress developer has provided a good documentation of how actually we can use WP Ajax method. And uh, this is the add action method as you can see WP Ajax is the keyword to attach with our custom action hook and this is the action property add foo bar and this is the function that we need to bind with this action hook and this is the function that here it is defined actually we need to make our custom query here and after making our custom query here just we need to add wp die function to make a clear ajax request to server 
and uh, here is the jQuery code just we need to some pass parameters about this so let's get started with action so just go to our plugin file just make up another request guys so I want that let's open our administrator panel for now just click on custom plugin and uh, we need to make all pages here we are going to work on all pages so just we need to include a form a simple form in all pages okay guys then go to this views folder click on all pages edit with notepad plus plus this is actually php file this is basically attached with our all page dot php file you guys as you can see this is our second mesa menu okay so just we are going to make a custom simple form here html html hit hit body body or just to save our time click on add new just do the copy and paste of the form that we have made in add new okay guys until to save close it just remove this code all and this is the form as you can see name required name okay 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 just suppose name for other page and email for other page just i have changed the name to get the clear concept about the two pages and just click on refresh so this is the form that we made so far just change the form from post it's called other page okay guys so just copy this id paste into a script it's other hx request jquery here is the id of form on event just we are going to bind with on event and click function and for now we are just going to console our some message let me check if it's work or not another page has opened okay and to us to save just click on refresh open insect element console clear and click on submit okay we have just required sanjay sanjay something to email id click on submit okay the form hasn't submitted so far let me check that okay so just go to here and uh, what we have done form okay guys because it's the submit button so the form has actually submitted on button click so to prevent this action if you want to prevent this action either we have to change its type submit to button okay so just refresh this if you have refreshed click on this click on this and click on submit so we can see our message has printed now okay guys so if you don't want to change it to button then on after getting submit just you have to prevent your default feature of submit button just click event as an object event dot prevent default okay this is the function actually we use to keep all functions beyond from its original functionality actually form has submitted as you know on click so we don't want to refresh our page so just we prevent its default functionality so if we are control plus f5 to refresh our page just click on name email and submit so 
click on inspect element and here is the button actually we guys we have to pass the button id so just go to here id it's suppose btn submit btn submit okay so just click on submit button and uh, this id is actually from what My next okay this is the id of form so we don't need to add this id remove that click on and just add a console message here console to log and form submitted okay just click on f5 and here guys as you can see form submitted the message console here okay. just we need to our custom action ajax request to server to to make this ajax request we need something like this as you can see from its documentation ajax url parameters and the function okay guys so to achieve that task jquery dot post and we need ajax url here is our parameter and plus function okay and if you don't want don't know how to use actually post method of jquery then please go to jquery official website and read the documentation section of wp means post method okay guys so how we get ajax url as you go to our library file then you can see uh, we have actually registered or not ajax url so let me do that simply script Okay guys or we have attached our file just write your code here a check URL or let me check some values here if Ajax URL contains value or not copy of that and paste it here for now you okay guys let me use that press this page And here you can see this is the JAX request okay guys so just we need to make request via this URL so okay guys so just this jquery dot post JAX URL and the parameter and the first parameter should be action and our action suppose it's our custom plugin okay and just we need to pass name it's online with tutor and it's dot equal to wordpress plugin development okay and here is a function name function so here just we need to echo mean the console message of our response which we get actually from server you okay guys response just copy this parameter paste it here so just we need to actually register our add action hook of our action parameter so this is the step guys that what we have did actually this is the step that we have done already now we need to add this code okay just copy of this code and paste in your code here add action and here is your action name so what's your action name action name is custom plugin just copy of that paste it here and here is the function name okay guys so for now just we want to make prefix ajax custom plugin as function name copy of that and made a function with this name function copy and now here is the function that we need to do and one more thing guys you need to add this function wp die function just copy of that and paste it here 
so for now we just echo want to print our all the request parameter which actually we got from javascript and we need to print all the variables okay guys so just control us to save mm, done we have let me check that okay action hook we have attached with this function name is attached and did. just click on control plus f5 And here you can guys as you can see action is custom plugin online web tutor and third wordpress plugin tutorial so this is the parameter that we have sent actually from our javascript code as you can see this is these are the parameters we have just sent from our javascript and just be requested from server and this is the response of the server that we got and here is the console message okay so if you go to the network section of this then you can check at the last section that is admin ajax then you can see here is the response and in the header section it's the url and 200 ok okay guys so let me take another request for you Okay, so guys I think I have made much more clear concept about this video session so how can we make a Jax request in another different way just you make your Ajax request simply by this Ajax URL is the parameter that we have passed values by admin URL okay, guys and what actually Ajax URL contains suppose something functional like this here is this echo admin URL and under this admin ajax dot php and this function guys returns you the complete url as you can see here copy just and paste it here so this function actually returns the ajax url so this is not this actually this parameter we are getting from our custom plugin code where we have registered our variable as you can see wp localize script and here is the ajax url we already get this value from this custom plugin page so we don't need to include in all pages here okay guys and this is the form that we have made and by getting this response form submit just we have made some code here jquery post method ajax url variable and this is the parameter custom plugin this variable this value custom plugin is used in our wp custom plugin variable where we have add attached this function with add action wp ajax custom plugin so this is the action hook and this is the function name just we have made with this function and after running this action hook this function actually runs and it gets printed all the parameters that we have passed with our javascript so this is the another way to means put your ajax request to server to get the values from there okay guys so i think i have made much more clear concept about this video session if you have any query and if you want to give any suggestions to help to make more videos about wordpress custom plugin development so please do comment in the comment box i will give my reply as soon as possible so in later video session we will see that how can we make query to databases in various conditions about our custom javascript code in our custom plugin so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day